Mm-hmm. Okay. Good morning. Right now it's 10.05 a.m. on a Thursday morning. I'm going to ask you to do a, a favor. So if you like, share, and comment on this post, this video right here today, you're going to have the opportunity to win some shirts. We're giving away some shirts to Tech City's Touch a Truck. Darcy, what's going on? Man, I'm just so happy to be here and let y'all know what Touch a Truck is about. Mm-hmm. So um, like, share, comment so we can hand out two of these cool shirts. I don't know if you can see them. That's a big truck. Shazam. Yeah, big old monster truck, man. We're going to have monster awesome. truck rides. Monster trucks are going to be out there. What other kind of vehicles can we expect? We got all kinds of emer- emergency vehicles, ambulances, fire trucks. The SWAT vehicle is going to be out there. Um, a lot of local police departments are contributing this year. So we got like the really cool, intense SWAT vehicles from every city, like Galveston. And they have the little tank turret that's at the top. Looks yeah. Super intimidating and cool. And then League City's got like the tan, I think it's called an MRAP. Okay. Uh, machine, it looks vicious. They all look super vicious, but very, very cool. That's awesome. Um, what else do we got? It seems like, you know, it gets bigger and bigger every year. This is by far the biggest touch of truck ever. We're going to have over 70 vehicles this year. Last year we had 45, so. I saw a post, I think on I-45 now, that said, y'all, we're looking for a tank. Yes. <laughs> we're trying to find a tank. Yes. Tony Busby let us down, man. <laughs> yeah, we, we did not find a tank, man. sadly. But um, that's it, where all the local police departments kind of stepped in and, and okay. brought us their SWAT machines. So that's the closest we could get to a tank. Um, wow. But yeah. No so tank. if you have a, a tank, if you're a civilian. Please. Yeah, we're still accepting. A tank will be <laughs> awesome. Think about how fun that would be. Totally awesome. So bring your tank down. Of course, call Darcy. Call the city of Texas City first so that way they know what's going on. Again, right before we go on the FM which we're about to do. Make sure that you share this video. Put a comment on there. If you're excited for Touch a Truck, maybe you've been to one of the ones in the past. Let me know what vehicle you're excited to see. We're going to go on the FM and get uh, Darcy reintroduced and talk talk about Touch a Truck in Texas City. Good morning. This is KHEA Radio, 99.5 FM. Right now it is Thursday morning. It's 10.07 a.m. And I got Darcy in studio. And Dar- Darcy, we're going to be talking about Touch a Truck. And I have to touch on this before we get into that. But... Did you have a chance to watch any of the Astros game last night? I did. I, I watched a little bit of it. Sorry. How did that make Sorry you feel? Sorry about the Astros, man. man. that was crazy. But yeah. I think they still have a chance. Yeah, poor Verlander. They're just tearing him up from the memes. Yeah. Yeah, the, the memes are brutal. But you got to stay strong and uh, That's right. the players and keep the faith and yeah. keep rooting them on. Game three is ours. Game three. You got to win out. Well, That's we right. don't have to win out necessarily, but you got to start winning we, games. Yeah, we should start. <laughs> for sure to do that so go astros for sure um if you are watching on on facebook if you share this video out send a comment in and um and, and like the video we're giving away some touch a truck t-shirts which darcy you have one on right now I sure that's do. a pretty cool truck got a little monster truck on there so yeah when i saw you walk in i thought it was an astro shirt yeah at first and then i was like oh wait that's the touch a truck See, shirt we got our, our stros colors you can support them yeah so the city of texas city always puts on Really cool events throughout throughout the year. And this is the next one. When is Touch a Truck? It is this Saturday, starting at 10 a.m. and goes until 4 p.m. on 6th Street in Texas City. Okay. And so, and for people who don't know what Touch a Truck is, it's um, it's a unique outdoor family festival. And it, it like I said, it's free. But it allows kids to, of course, touch, climb, explore, and learn about the, their, their favorite big vehicles. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we got dump trucks. We got school buses. I don't know what it is, but kids lose their minds for our school buses. So we're yeah. going to have uh, two of those out there. Um, just all kinds of stuff. And it's really neat to see kids light up. They go bananas. I know the more the more Memorial Public Library is going to be out there. Yes, they're going to have their own uh, little booth. And I think they have their, uh, like, a, a library actually set up. So you can go and check out books. Yeah, there's going to be a mobile library. Yeah. I, I was talking to Luke not too long ago, and he was sharing about that, that I think that they were out there last year. Maybe he said he wasn't, but they didn't have the mobile library. The It's under right. construction right now. Right. And so yes. that's an opportunity to go get some books. Yeah, absolutely. You got books. You got trucks. What else do you need? All. Is there going to be food out there? Tons of food. We have lots of food vendors. Um, we're going to have snow cones out there, arts and craft vendors. And then, like, one of the most popular things we have out there is a 12 by 12 corn box with 6,000 pounds of corn. <laughs> what? 6,000 pounds, man. 
Why? What's what's going on with the corn? Is there going to be like the kids dive in it? They play in it. We're going to okay. have like little like Tonka dump trucks in yeah. there that they could play in. And if you go to our uh, Facebook at Touch a Truck TC, mm-hmm. you'll see the corn box and what we're talking about. We just posted an epic corn video yesterday. Okay. So um, it's so cool. Do you have any siblings? I do. I have two. Okay. Is it brothers or sisters or? or I have a twin be? sister and then I have a younger brother. You have a twin sister. I have a twin. Is she identical? No, she's fraternal. Okay. So she's uh, blonde. My my hair's fake. So she's blonde hair for <laughs> real, and blue eyes, and four inches shorter than me. And she's awesome. Okay, cool. <laughs> so did y'all? Did you play? Like I was think I had a, a visual of me being a kid, and I had like my Tonka trucks. You know, like in the dirt. Yes. But corn would probably have been a better option. Did yes. you play like that growing up? We did. We played more with like Barbies. Right. Not so much trucks, but my brother had every Hot Wheel imaginable, every Tonka truck, and all kinds of stuff like that. So mm-hmm. it's. Um, we are going to have a pink concrete truck for the ladies out there, so that's pretty impressive. That's fun. I've never seen a pink concrete truck in my life. So Wow, that's cool. Yeah. I've seen some pictures of a, I think it might be like either a dump truck or a trash truck, but it's painted like the Astros. Yes, I should have brought that up. Texas Pride Disposal. They're coming out, and they have a, a dump truck painted just like the Astros, so come out in your uh, Astros gear and take some photos. Yeah, and um, I think Friday is a game, and then Saturday there's another game as yes. well, so you can go to Touch a Truck, starts yeah. at 10 a.m., over at 4, make sure you watch the Astro- Astros and get a picture mm. with that Boom. that awesome truck. Mm-hmm. Is there a favorite that you have from last year, or maybe even one that you're like, oh, I haven't seen it yet, but it's going to be my favorite this year? So I just talked about the pink concrete truck. I haven't seen that, and I'm really excited about that one. Um, but I like, we're going to have a lot of the high water rescue vehicles, mm-hmm. the more army truck looking like stuff. Yeah. I, I like those. Um, HEB's coming out. They're going to have a big giant 18 wheeler. So. I've seen the, a pink concrete you know truck driving around. I was just thinking, yeah. my favorite one is there's like a mini steamroller <laughs> and it's so, t- it looks like you just put it in your pocket and it's so cute. Just a little, it's, it's called a mini roller and it's going to be out there. Yeah. It's, it's like maybe this big. Like why? And the roller. Yeah. Does it actually work? It works. It's from our city. The, the city <laughs> people bring it out. Yeah. But I saw it last year and I was like, look at the cute little mini roller. Oh, wow. Hey, so we had our Talk of Taco cook-off um, a couple weeks ago and it was a lot of fun. We had it right here in Lamarck. Yes. The city of Lamarck brought out a couple of emergency vehicles, mm-hmm. uh, like fire trucks and an ambulance. Yes. So I'm here at the event having a good time. I ate about 10 to 12 tacos. I lost count after about eight. <laughs> And I was like so stuffed, but people kept handing me some, right? Yeah. I look over and I see my daughter who's two and she's in the back of an ambulance, just kind of like having, having the time of her life. (laughs) And so I'm like going over there like, what's going on? But, um, she was there with one of the EMS firefighters and just having a blast. She was like, I want to go for a ride. She was like, I want to go for a ride. And he was like, well, we can't go for a ride right now. Yeah. We kind of got to stay. Yeah. But she was just like in amazement being able to see that because she sees videos and songs. Right. You know, the kids aren't allowed to, like, go right. to an ambulance any other time. or If it's an emergency. They, yeah, maybe they don't ride the bus to school, so the bus is available for them. They certainly won't have access to a SWAT, you know, vehicle. <laughs> um, and so it's just, it's neat to see them interact and get to explore vehicles that they <clears throat> couldn't before. Yeah. Um, one time we did a video f- with one of the cities around here, and I got a ride in a fire truck. Yeah. And it was so fun. Heck yeah. It was so fun. So I'm in the passenger seat and I'm just, I have like my camera yes. and I'm just like getting shots like out the window. <laughs> Do you ever, have you ever had that happen whenever you have something expensive in your hand and you're like in the car, the window's down and, and you're always worried that you're just going to get that reflex and just throw it out the window or in the water? Has that ever happened to you? No. Is it just me? <laughs> just you. Has Man, I'm like gripping it so I close. Think of. It's like, what if like I get a twitch or something happens? I'm sorry. That's weird. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to have people on like standby to make sure like if you do have a Twitch, you won't hurt yourself. <sighs> no, on the I fire need that. I need that. Right now it's 1014 a.m. <laughs> on a Thursday morning. This is KHEARadio.com 99.5 FM. If you're watching on Facebook, feel free to share this video out. And then in the comments, let me know, hey, are you going to touch a truck? Do you want one of these really cool shirts? I see a comment from Reba. She said, it's the best event ever. Would yes. love a shirt. Thanks, Reba. Yeah. Uh, let me know what you got going on today, and if you're going to be able to make it. I see Jordan said, hey, I wish I could go this weekend, but I'll be in Lake Charles. It would be cool if you could make it. He actually has ET lockouts and has a really cool Jeep that's wrapped, and yeah. it looks legit. That would be okay. almost one of those fun Touch things to have out there. 2020 is October 24th. Y'all already got it planned. Yeah. I'm writing it down, so okay. that way I don't I don't make yeah. plans for October. 
October 24th. That's going to be a Saturday, is the next Absolutely. Saturday yes. as well. Yes. 10 to 4? 10 to 4. Will there be a tank at 2000? Man, I'm hoping, right? We have a year now. We <laughs> we need to get a tank. There's one on, is it uh, Highway 3? Mm-hmm. I think it's like, um, it, it's some veterans hall or something. And yeah. It's, it's stationary. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's been there forever. I'm like, can we get that one? It's by but... Hughes. It's like north of north of Hughes Road at yes. the VFW Hall yeah. on Highway 3. Yeah. So, have you talked to anybody there? I have not. Okay, so Everyone's I know like, someone who's a member. <gasps> she was because she was a judge for our talk of Taco Cook Off, yes. and she also judged at Bayou Fest. She's yeah. um, oh, and she's judged at the at the firefighter games on Sixth Street. That's how I met oh. her for the first time two years ago. Can, I hope she can get us a tank. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Can you imagine that thing going down Highway Three? It's like, well, it's the only way. Right. <laughs> and uh, I think they'll need like a ladder to get all the kids to get on top. Yeah. I don't even know if you can get inside it. Who knows? It looks like it's been there for a while. Mm-hmm. It may not move. Yeah. I don't. That's what everyone said. It's It doesn't move. It doesn't hurt to ask. Okay. Hey, this is a, a question, and you may recognize this person. It's your husband. I know <laughs> just because I know his name. But he said, hey, is there a free park and ride? Is there a way to get there? There is. Thanks, Gino, for the reminder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is something new um, this year that we're offering for people. I know parking around 6th Street is kind of... Um, small I guess in that area so uh, the Simpson Education Support Building which is on Palmer it's 1700 Ninth Avenue North it's on Palmer we're going to have lots of electronic signs so you could see it Mm -hmm. TCISD has graciously donated two buses with their drivers and they're going to shuttle people to and from they're going to drop you off right at the touch a truck entrance and take you back and it's running 10 a.m. to 4 so um, it's just a great opportunity you don't have to worry about your car or anything yeah. Just let us take you there. Yeah, I was on 6th Street not too long ago, and every time I go, there's something new. Yes. There's a lot of new stuff, you yeah. know, popping up. Yeah. They're working on, I think it's called Fruit Bear Bakery is coming out right next to Hey Mikey's. Um, so that's about to open up the 6th Street Garage Bar. Mm-hmm. That's new, and they have uh, fantastic cheeseburgers. And um, what else is coming out? I don't know. There's there's still some space. Like, I, right. and this like it looks like brand new buildings and yeah. reconstructed and, uh, yeah, right next to Hey Mikey's because whenever that's the, we were the there, bakery that's gonna be there. Yeah, I was yeah. talking to one of the guys and they you know they were doing some construction and some other stuff and they were jamming some music and I was like mm-hmm. I just want to go in there. It sounds like it's yeah. a lot of fun. Is there a hammer I can help? Rice barbecue. I think um, almost every Friday they're gonna have like a DJ out there, so uh, it, it's. It's coming. Yeah. It's, it's getting really nice. And then there's Bronco Burritos. Bronco Burrito. They're stationary out there, right? right? Like all the time. Fetching Lab Brewery is on 3rd Avenue. So this year we're, we're stretching Touch a Truck from 7th Avenue by Hey Mikey's is where it starts. And it's going to go all the way down to Fetching Lab. And right next to Fetching Lab is the Galveston County Food Bank. Mm-hmm. And this year they're going to do a haunted warehouse. So uh, it's $5 per person. But all the proceeds go to the Galveston County Food Bank, and I think there's over 50,000 Galveston County residents who have food insecurities, so yeah. um, all the proceeds go to them. So it's and bigger this year? They all stretch it out bigger. further? It's way bigger. It's going to be awesome. longer, and then we have more vehicles. We have uh, over 70, and they're wow. still coming in, so I'm still accepting applications. Mm-hmm. If you got a cool, unique vehicle, hit me up. Yeah, so the the food bank has a, another location as well now, mm-hmm. and I had a... We were doing some work with United Way and had the opportunity to go in there and interview some of the people there. And that facility yeah. is really nice. And it is. big. That's where they're going to have the haunted house. Yeah. We learned about that a, a little bit. Um, I'm trying to remember the, the gentleman's name. He has a race car name. Uh, I know NASCAR. what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. It's oh, like shoot. Jeff Gordon. Or it like... is Jeff Gordon. That's who <laughs> That's it, is. it is. Yeah. Yeah. We interviewed Yeah, Jeff Gordon. I was working with Julie. She's the one who's kind of doing the, the haunted house. Okay. Uh, and it runs from noon until 9 p.m. So once Touch a Truck is over, y'all could just head on down to the haunted house. There you go. All Do you right. like haunted houses? No. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I can't handle it. Well, I remember being a kid and at my elementary school, I wasn't even in the elementary school. I think my sister was because she's two years older than me. And there was an option for that and it's like you can go with the good person or the bad person. I was like I'm going to go with neither person yeah. this isn't for yeah. me pass yeah <laughs> I'm going to go like sit in the cafeteria or something I'm I'm good yeah. but um yeah you know it's the, it's that time of year there's a lot of candy that's going to be I'm sure like handed out and right it's before halloween yeah so it's 
Perfect. We had Dr. Ch- well, we have Dr. Chop in every Tuesday talking about health, and his whole thing is like, you know, don't eat so much sugar. And I ask him like, what do you what do you what do? You do? do people avoid your house? Because that that's what I would do. I'd be like, that guy's gonna give me an apple. Raisins? <laughs> no, he said no. He gives out like he researches what's in the candy and yeah. and not the um I don't know artificial corn syrup and all this other stuff. And I'm like, that's what's up. Thank you, Dr. Chop. Yeah, he's looking out for us. He's a good guy. Mm-hmm. So after Touch a Truck, which is this Saturday. What is the next event that Texas City is going to be having? So our Texas City Museum is doing something fun. It's the the quilt show they've been doing, I think, for three to four years now. And the last day you could bring your quilt in is uh, this Friday coming up. So she wanted me to talk about that. Cool. And um, let me see what it is. You win a uh, gift card from Cactus Quilts, which is also further down 6th Street. And everybody can vote on the quilts. I don't know if you've been into the Texas City Museum, but they hang them from the ceiling in the lobby. So it's really impressive to walk in and just see all these quilts that everyone spent so much time on. Wow. Quilting is not easy. No. It's not easy. I want a t-shirt quilt because I have, I'm the person who has shirts oh, yeah. from like junior high that I'm like, what, yeah. what if I can't throw this away? You're like, I read all the, the Blue Bonnet books in fourth grade. You know, I need to keep <laughs> this. I worked hard for that. Yeah. But a t-shirt quilt would be a good option. But I'm like, yes. ask my wife. She's like, mm, yeah. that's not for me. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of work. Maybe if you go there and ask someone, they can make it for you. That's a good idea. It runs from November 2nd all the way to the 30th, but they need people to go and vote on it. It's not uh-huh. like their quilt club who votes. It's, and it's, it's a it's competition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and I don't know how much the gift card is from Cactus Quilts, but I know quilting isn't cheap either. So yeah. So I imagine it's a pretty good deal. That's awesome. So when is that? So you said the the deadline to turn in. Yeah. If any of your listeners have a quilt and they just wanted to bring one out, uh, <laughs> the deadline is tomorrow. <laughs> I would go buy one. I don't know how many like, quilting followers you have. <laughs> I totally made this. I totally made this. Here's my t-shirt quilt. Yeah. You're like, yeah, paper clip doesn't count. Do you sew at all? Clothespin. No, I wish. I wish. I feel like that's a dying skill and I should learn it just in <laughs> case, you know? Or like I have a son now and if I want to make him costumes. Yeah. Halloween's my favorite and I don't. I remember going. I got a cricket. My husband uh-huh. got me a cricket. He could comment on here and I haven't even used it yet. And my son's seven months old. Uh, so got it for how's he doing? He's great. How's mom life and parent parenting mom life? Life is wonderful. He's got a uh, his first tooth first tooth coming in on the bottom. All right. So he's he's big. He's in the ninety four percentile for his height and everything. Yeah. Oh boy. So with that tooth coming in, he's probably ready for like steak. He's ready yeah, for the food. He's ready like, to eat. Mm-hmm. He tries to grab our food all the time. Yeah. So it's great. It's yeah. Great. How was that adjustment? Like, you know, juggling. I'm gonna say like work, family, newborn baby. You know, it's it's not easy all the time. It is not easy. And we're still working together and trying to make that work. Figure it out. And yeah. The evening times that you used to have that was like, oh, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that. Uh, someone's got to be watching our kid. So just working that out has yeah. been um, quite an adjustment. But, I mean. It's worth it. It's so cliche, but it's the best thing that's ever happened to us. Yeah. You know, everyone says that and they mean it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody texted me this morning was like, "Hey, I feel like you should have seven kids." I was like, seven kids? Whoa. Like, what? I yeah. don't even know. It was it was a, it was a good text." I was like, "Okay, yeah. thank you." Well, they yeah. were listening to something, uh, and I said on a show the other day, and I think that's why they they texted me. Yes. Because well, I don't want seven kids. Just have, <laughs> just have five more kids. Yeah. Um, whenever you are looking for something to do, it's always like at least for me, like I think like oh the movies. Well, I got to find some. Yeah. My kids can go watch this. Right. But with Touch a Truck, that's an opportunity to take yes. your entire family. It's family yes. friendly, right? It is family friendly. And then um, something else we're offering, and we've done it in the years past. But if you have like a child who gets overwhelmed with all the the noises, the horns, the sirens, all that, mm-hmm. we're going to offer a, a sensory friendly hour, and that starts at ten a.m. to eleven, um, and and no horns are allowed, no sirens. We're going to try and keep it as quiet as possible and um, just make it a good environment for, for those kids. That's cool. Uh, we can't be at every vehicle, so right. some some uh, honks might slip out, but we're going to try our best to keep it quiet Okay. for everyone. That's awesome. Is that so, something you all have done in the years past? We have, um, and we need to do a better job at advertising it, so I'm hoping by getting it out today, you know, more people can come out a little earlier. And it's less crowded that way, but mm-hmm. yeah, we'll, we'll do our best to keep all the vehicles quiet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So that's going to be on 6th Street. Mm-hmm. 
you know, this Saturday, 10 to 4, <laughs> touch a truck right here in Texas City. There is parking available, like uh, park and rides. Yes. Which is important. At the Simpson Education Support Center. Where is that one? Which one is that? 1700. It's right across the street from Moore Memorial Library. Okay. And it's right next to Blocker Middle School. Okay. They call it the admin building, but the technical name is Simpson Education Support Center. Okay. So, <laughs> I know. What a mouthful. I think I've been there. It's right next to Blocker Middle School. Yeah. So, that whole entire parking lot will be uh, for our park and ride. Okay. Yeah. Cool. cool Speaking cool. of park and ride, I don't think I talked about our monster truck rides yet. No. What's going on with that? We have the Tantra monster truck. He's coming out again this year, and uh, we're going to offer monster truck rides. It's $10 per person, so that's one of the things you do have to pay for uh, mm-hmm. to touch a truck, but um, you get to ride around a field for like... I mean, he <laughs> rides you for a long time. Like, is it like one of those, like on your shirt? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, if you Google him, he's the the tantrum monster truck, and it has it's a green truck, and it has this little kid in a sandbox who's like throwing a tantrum. But oh <laughs> I know, I know. Um, but it's really cool. I mean, everybody, the line is so long to get into it, and it goes all day long. So it's fun. That is cool. Yeah, if you ever never been on a monster truck, yeah. come on out. Because not only will you be able to climb on some of these trucks, yes. you'll be actually be, be able to go for a ride. This one, you can ride. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a quick break on the FM, and we're going to keep it going on Facebook. Again, if you are watching on Facebook, share this video out. Uh, put a comment. Let us know if you've been to Touch a Truck before, or this will be your first one. Uh, you can also have the opportunity to win one of these Touch a Truck t-shirts. We're going to be giving these away. This is KHEA Radio, 99.5 FM. All right. What's up, Facebook? Hey, Luis, I need to. He's Luis said, Guardi side note, you have to try that famous Louisiana fried chicken and seafood. They just opened in Lamarck. I think my parents went there or they told me about it. The OJ's? I'm not sure. Seafood on 6th? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they did just open. Um, I think you have to call your order in, but uh, everything I've heard from it has been fantastic. Cool. Yeah. I'm always down to try food, n- yeah. new food, mm-hmm. new places. Something else that's really cool that we got this year is uh, a local artist. His name's Evan Miller. Okay. He did a uh, Angel Wings mural for us. And I know you said if I had a picture on my phone, I could maybe show you. Mm-hmm. Can I? Can I get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be so cool. Sweet. So it's a, a big uh, mural. Yeah, just a big mural, and it's right next to the uh, Tech City Museum. It used to be the old Abernathy building, uh-huh. but we're going to have our, our tents for everyone to like kind of sit in the what shade. What was Abernathy? Was that a cof- coffee or what was that? I wanna, it was an antique shop. Okay. So, um, but here, I don't know where I angle it. Ta-da! That's cool. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. So you can find him on Instagram at Evans Artwork. All right. We're real excited. Hey, here's a, this is a comment from Leslie. Um, with the United Way. She said, did y'all ever get the big tank? We did not, Leslie. Help us out. I know. That's what I said. They're still looking. I said, bring yours. If you have one, Leslie, yeah. or know somebody. Surely there's a United Way tank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here's a comment from John. He said, how about driving one? Is there an opportunity to drive anything that's out there? Uh, Let me think. In the corn with like, the little planet. Yeah, basically the Tonka trunk in the corn. That's <laughs> all you can have access to. I mean, you can sit. You're able to sit in the driver's seat. And yeah. for sure, like, turn the wheel. But, yeah, we don't have anything that you could drive because just we're expecting crowds of 30,000 people. That would be a little dangerous. 30,000 people. That's yeah. nuts. Yeah. I mean, and I'm hoping we get a bigger crowd this year. That was just our crowd from last year. I know the weather's going to be great, it's and I don't even beautiful. have to look, but I'm going to. And um, We have a little rain tomorrow, but then it's going to oh, be out of the way, and Saturday's perfect. Man, the high is 69, the low is 54. Yeah. That's going to be a lot of fun. Beautiful. That's going to be uh, really nice to be outside. Nobody's going to be hot. It's going to be perfect. It's going to feel like one of those, I don't know, like the fall or even winter yes. for us. Yes. For like it's 69 a degrees. Day. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. So bring the family out. Uh, I see a lot of people hanging in there. Again, if you're watching on Facebook, feel free to share this and then let me know in the comments if you want one of these awesome shirts. It's kind of, Well, it's Texas City for sure because it's like the orange and that's Benny All's colors. Yes. But it reminds me, it's like the exact same color as the Astros. Yeah. And it looks like a, you can you root can on the Astros. You can wear it to the World Series. Yeah. Have, have, have any of your friends gone? Because I've seen people on my feed that are like at the my games. My sister actually got to go to the first one. Yeah, and she had really good seats. That's awesome. As an uh, anniversary present. So. That's cool. Yeah. Is that one that she wanted? Because sometimes you get stuff It's like, okay, is this a gift for you or <laughs> is this a gift for me? 
Well, I'm pretty sure she wanted to go. I okay. mean, it's the World <laughs> Series, man. So, <laughs> and she, I mean, J.J. Watt was there that game. Yeah. So she said that was nice. Yeah, that's cool. I saw, you know, behind uh, home plate, you see like Tillman Fertitta. Yeah. And you see All like some of the Rockets Nolan players. Nolan Ryan was there. Nolan Ryan. Mattress Upton, Mac, of course. Yeah. My mm-hmm. husband got to meet uh, Mattress Mac. He went to, so what's it before the World Series, whatever that one was. Yeah, the, AL- sorry, the Championship Series, the American League, baseball. ALCS is what they call so, it. So, yes, he went to one of those, and he's like, that guy was just walking around, stopping every, like, two seconds, smiling, taking all kinds of pictures, and it was very, very friendly. Yeah. So, he was excited. Have so, you yeah. seen the amount of money that he's put up, like, in, in bets and stuff? Yeah. I think they said Carried it's like over him 10 million. in, like, cases and everything. Yeah. He's like, here's three and a half million dollars. I mean, I wonder what's going to happen. I don't know either. I'm nervous. I've seen the meme, the Mattress Mac memes where it says, hey, your payment's due next month or yeah. <laughs> whatever. Is, it, um, is it Jordan Peele, the one where he's like all sweaty and he's like, this is Mattress Mac. Go Astros. Have you seen that one? <laughs> no, I haven't seen that one. <laughs> that one makes me. Oh, that's that comedy sketch show, right? Yeah. Yeah, Peele. Yes. Okay, I got you. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. So after the quilt, the quilt show, what mm. else do we got going on? After the quilt show, we have... Um, Hello Palooza, mm-hmm. and that's at the Nestor Center. That's on Halloween, and there's gonna there gonna be lots of games, candy, kid activities. Um, it, it's a huge crowd there as well. And following that, we have um, the Veterans Day salute. That's November 10th at the Rotary Pavilion. Um, what else? The Texas City Christmas Parade, because it's never too soon to talk about Christmas. Yeah, is December 5th. I saw somebody shared a meme, and it's one of the the ones with Will Ferrell's elf, and it's like, yes. we're down to single digits, nine. Nine more Mondays. Yeah, nine more Mondays till yes, Christmas I now. I saw that, too. That's and scary. Man, it is scary. Why is time going by so quick? I have no idea. And you know, I haven't started shopping for anybody. Yeah, well, my wife did really yesterday. I was like, anyways. thank goodness she got something for like something for my son and something for like my sister. Yeah. Something. Oh, I did. Like, I bought my sister a Christmas present. I That's did. good, I yeah. Her, I got her shirt. She might be watching, so I can't tell you what it is. It's a touch truck shirt. It's a touch <laughs> truck surprise. It's in your stocking. <laughs> no, it's a touch truck shirt. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's really funny. I know. So the Veterans Day salute, you said that's November 10th? Yes. That's a Sunday? It is. And what does that entail? Where is it at? That's at the Rody Pavilion um, right there in between City Hall and Nestler. Okay. And I know they do like a little short ceremony. So are um, they inviting veterans out? Yes, absolutely. So if you're a veteran, come and uh, yeah, and participate. Please come. All right. So I went to an event at the Nestler Center the other day. Mm-hmm. It was the uh, Texas City ISD Education or the the Future Foundation. Or oh the, yes, yeah, I I did see pictures of that. I wasn't able to go, but yeah, it was um, it was really good. I had never really been nice. to one of those before. Yeah, a lot of our commissioners were out there, mm-hmm. and um, they it was, honored it was great work. Yeah, they honored um, Lamarck High School graduates, and they honored Texas City High School graduates that are doing amazing things mm-hmm. in the community, and still, you know, currently in the past, and just been doing it for years. Yeah. It's it was crazy just to hear these stories, and I was like, I would I would interview every single one of these people if they had time. Yeah. But one of one of them is like, well, I'm the GM for the Indianapolis Colts. I'm like, he doesn't have time. Right. <laughs> uh, he might be busy. What was his name? Chris Ballard. Chris Ballard, and then there was um. Let's see. There was all kinds of you know amazing yeah. stories and these people that lived through like integration of schools um, in 1970. Whenever I guess you know Lamarck High School integrated in TCISD, mm-hmm. it's, it's crazy because it's so long ago, but it's not that long ago. And you can capture these stories. One thing that I talked about with um, with Luke at the library is that from 19, 1913 to 1970, they're doing a an oral history of African American local Texas City culture and history right. to get these stories captured yes. i think that's really cool and important it is important um mm-hmm. our uh, we we have a new hire his name's Derek miller and he is our videographer and designer and he's been recording the oral history so mm-hmm. um it's really neat to listen to all those recordings yeah. too so i can't wait for them to get it out for the public and then he said after that they're going to do hispanic he said maybe and you know get a good foothold on this mm-hmm. and you know next year try and start putting right. together a hispanic um the exact same idea. Yeah, and an they need history. people. So if anybody's interested, you know, reach out to Luke at the library, or you could uh, Facebook message us at the City of Texas City Facebook page. You know, they're always looking for people, and Luke's the nicest guy. He is. So he is great on here, man. I could just let him go. He was like, yeah, 
doing some, I don't know, it was funny. It was so fun and funny hanging out with him. <laughs> and I hope he keeps coming back as, even whenever the library is, is fully functional. I'm sure I know he's he busy. will. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Yeah. And we did get some clarification from the Texas City Museum for the, oh, the quote Oh, sorry, winners. Amanda. They said the gift cards are $75 for first. Whoop. $50 for second. Whoop. And $25 for third. Heck yeah. So your t-shirt mm-hmm. quilt might win. Yes. <laughs> Bring it out. <laughs> All right. And uh, let's see. We got about a minute or so, and then we can go back on the FM and keep talking about everything that's going on. All right. What's going on? Um, so we are wrapping up a video shoot with uh, emergency management. I mean, I, you know, had opportunity to show you a little bit of it, but it's really nice and fun to be able to work with, you know, the city of Texas City because there's a lot going on. Definitely. Yeah. A lot going on. Always. And Tom and Dio are great to work with, too, so mm-hmm. I'm, I'm anxious to see y'all put that out because mm-hmm. we do get some questions about the sirens and what does this mean and um, what do I do. So, Do y'all get a lot of questions about the, the pumps? Yes. <laughs> Mainly, are they on? Right. Mainly, are they on? Um, what do you say? I just, I no. mean, it's not, <laughs> Yes. I think people think that um, they don't watch the weather or maybe they're just... Right. Um, and and they're constantly monitoring the weather. It's a twenty four hour, like seven days a week job. So, um, rest assured, you're gonna be okay. And when the pumps need to come on, they will turn them on. Mm-hmm. And they don't leave until like the raining event is done. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. Um, I know you got to interview some of them, but I think they were there for like four or five days nonstop for Harvey. So, I mean, Texas City's very lucky to have that. Yeah. That pump station. Whenever we interviewed them, it was hard not to talk about Harvey specifically because we weren't trying to date the video. So that way, as long as that system's right. in place. And the, but I asked a bunch of questions specific to that rain event because that was like none other that we've ever had right. from what I understand. Um, but a lot of those answers were, you know, given from given from that. But you have mm-hmm. to put them into context where it makes sense. But it was a lot of fun to make to make that video. And those guys are, are great. It's impressive to see them work too, mm-hmm. like being on the inside in there. You get to see them. Yeah, and, and you know they were like, "Well, I don't know." It's weird getting people to to do something that they're not comfortable with, mm-hmm. but it's something that you do every day. It's like this right. is what you do. Right. You don't have to act. Just do. Yeah. You know, just do what you do. What would you do if if something was going on? You know, I'm doing this. Or just yeah, just enlighten people like about the process. Mm-hmm. And I think y'all's video did that. Yeah, it was good. It was mm-hmm. fun. Mm-hmm. Do you ever um, get any feedback from that video? Are people like, that's not true. That's a lie. Because we've, I, you know, some of the comments you'll see like, oh, this is, it's like, well, no, that's it's the we, facts. Like, yes, we have. <laughs> um, but I just, I just, I just want to say, I mean, they, they do the best job that they can. And Tech City's very lucky to have those pumps. I mean, um, you, you could see what happened at Harvey and yeah. we, were, we were virtually untouched. So, mm-hmm. um, uh, pretty cool just be grateful yeah there's not many places with pumps like that like in the world i guess no it seems like there should be more i agree but our setup is kind of unique and it works perfect yes for where we're at yeah so let's see we can go back on the fm all right now here we go good morning this is khea radio 99.5 fm I'm Gardy. Right now it's 1038 a.m. on a Thursday morning. I got Darcy with me. Good morning, Darcy. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. Thanks. Good. Hey, thanks for, for coming in. And right now we're talking about Touch a Truck, what you can expect if you're there. Uh, maybe you've been before, so you already know, but it's going to be even bigger and better. Yes. We have over 70 vehicles this year. Last year, if you came out, there's about 45. So we have definitely jacked up all the vehicles your kiddos can climb on. And um, it's free, so you don't have to worry about it. The weather's going to be perfect. Um, something new that we're offering this year is a park and ride shuttle service. So you mm-hmm. can park at the um, Simpson Education Building, which is right next to Blocker Middle School. And uh, TCISD has graciously donated to their buses. So they're going to shuttle you back and forth from the touch a truck entrance all the way back. So don't worry about parking. We got you covered. Uh, we're going to have moonwalks. Uh, there's lots of face painting. There's going to be a balloon animal guy out there. Yeah. We have someone called the reptile guy coming out. <laughs> Wait, is that the guy who looks like a lizard? I wish it was, but no, <laughs> he's got like that big old turtle and like okay. the iguanas and snakes and mm. all that stuff. Can you pet him? Yes. 
Okay. Yeah. That's it's awesome. It's like a reptile petting zoo. Very cool. Yeah. Somebody was asking, well, ask my wife about a petting zoo. Like, hey, I want to take my kids. It feels like fall. You know, the weather's going to be right. awesome. Where can I take my kids to go see some animals that they never get to see? Touch a Touch truck. Touch a truck this weekend. Starting at 10 a.m. this Saturday, uh, you know, right here on, on 6th Street in Texas City. That's right. That's awesome. Yeah. Are you going to let your, your son, how old is he again? He's seven months. Is he going to get to play in the corn? He's going to come out for that first hour when they're, when we don't have any honking and yeah. the sensory friendly hour just because I don't know if like his little ears are okay with all that honking. Yeah. And, you know, new mama, I don't really know a whole heck of a lot about this. So, uh, but he will definitely play in the corn pit mm-hmm. for sure. As long as we make sure he doesn't put the corn in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Because he's putting everything in his mouth. Yeah. So, and now he has his tooth. Yes. <sighs> We will have two volunteers just constantly monitoring that corn box all day. Just want to, you know, let parents know they can rest assured uh, it's not going to get too crazy. Um, yeah. Basically, we want to keep all the corn inside the box and make sure nobody gets buried in it. Of course, of course. Hey, do you know how many <gasps> bounce houses y'all are going to have? Because if y'all have 70 trucks out there, I feel like there's not that much room for bounce houses. But the fact that it's there is awesome. It is, and uh, Rock the House Moonwalks nah. always does a wonderful job. Raymond's the best. And we're going to have, uh, I, I forgot to mention, the video game truck. Their new video gaming oh. truck. So, yeah, if you got some like little kids who want to play video games, come on out. That's but, cool. Yeah, we're going to have that there. I'm excited. Yeah. Um, and this is from Linda. She said, hey, remind the list- listeners of the sensory hour, and that is so awesome. So that's the first hour? Yes. Uh, Linda, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. is the sensory-friendly uh, hour. We are... Going to make sure that nobody is doing their sirens, they're not honking the horns, just to keep it quiet and, um, uh, I guess, a, a good environment for the, the children who need that. Mm-hmm. So, um, that's that's a great thing yeah, to do. Yeah, it starts right at 10. You know, with, with Texas City putting on so many events year-round, is there room on 6th Street to bring in more events, like if somebody's absolutely. interested? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I know this is by, by far the largest event that happens on 6th Street, but... Uh, Yeah, there's always room for more events. Yeah, I know the first one that I went to was the Firefighter Games. Right. You know, this year I went, but the year before was my first time to get introduced to an event on 6th Street, which is Mm -hmm. really cool. We do um, the Art Walk, and then uh, for Christmas this year, we're going to do Santa on 6th Street. So Santa's going to come out, and uh, you can take free photos with him, Mm -hmm. and then some of the the choirs from uh, TCISD, they're going to sing us Christmas carols. So there'll be hot chocolate, cookies, things like that. Yeah. Um, do those so, businesses get pretty stoked? There's like 30,000 people around? They do get excited, <laughs> but as always, they want um, all the shoppers they can get. So, yeah. So, you know, while maybe dad's watching the kids on the fire truck, mom can go down to Urban Gypsies or Care Creations. Mm. Or there's um, lots to do on 6th Street, for sure. Care Creations, they've been there for a long time, haven't yes. they? Yes. And that's a jewelry store. It is a jewelry store. Um, I, I don't know how long she's been there, but Georgia Meyer, mm-hmm. um, she has the Care Creations, wonderful store. And then Urban Gypsies, a uh, few doors down, um, is like home decor and things like that. And she's always, she's constantly changing up their display. So I think she might be set up for Christmas already. Nice. Um, yeah, go, yeah, go check it out. And um, Campeche Coffee's in between them. Mm-hmm. If you're looking for a new hairstylist, Lawns on Six just opened. So, um, and they also have a, a good barber in there. All right. So, I mean, we I, got it all. Yeah, I was at Care Creations not too long ago. My wife had a a ring that she needed to get yes, like repaired repair, or reset. Yeah, any kind of jewelry you have. Yeah, and then they had a whole bunch of selections as well. Mm-hmm. And she knew about that place because her dad would go there. And just buy. I mean, yeah. everybody likes to look at jewelry oh, yeah. and surprise their significant other or oh, yes. for themselves. Yes. <laughs> you never yeah. know. Hey. So, She's cool. Got it all. Make sure you check them out <laughs> right there on 6th Street. And you have an opportunity today, of course, but you can also go on Saturday starting at 10 a.m., maybe during that, that sensory hour or at 3 p.m., whenever. Right. Touch a truck this Saturday. Touch a truck. And here's a reminder if you're watching on Facebook, uh, remember you can share this video out, and we're giving away a couple of Touch a Truck t shirts. And you'll get one. Darcy has one on right now. Ta-da! It's dated 2019, and it has a really cool truck on it. Yeah. And then there's also truck rides you can do, and there's also stuff for the kids. Corn box. All kinds of stuff. Have y'all done the corn box before? We have, yes. Was it a hit? It's always a hit. From 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., there are kids in it nonstop. We have to, like, <laughs> shoo them out um, when the event ends at 4 because yeah. they don't want to get out of it. 
Is there something that is probably the most popular thing there, and what is it? The corn box. It is the corn. It okay. is the corn box. I mean, nonstop. That, the school buses, um, there's always a line to get on the school bus. And um, I think it's like the SWAT vehicles, but we're going to have a lot more military vehicles than we've ever had. So mm-hmm. a lot of high water rescue vehicles. The city of Lamarck is bringing theirs out. Um, I'm trying to think. We have a Galveston uh, Sheriff's Department. They're coming out. We have a few constables. So, um yeah. Lots you, of like emergency vehicle presence. What's really cool is that y'all work with other cities. You yes. mentioned the Leak City Police Department, yes. City of Lamarck, Rescue right. Vehicle. And if anyone's listening, it's free to enter. We don't charge these people to participate. So it's a wonderful advertising opportunity for your business. I mean, you're 30,000 people plus all day long walking in and out. I mean, and you're. Your vehicle's there with your logo, and yeah. we encourage the participants to hand out any business cards, brochures, you know. Yeah. If you need a pink concrete truck, that's going to be out there. Do we you- have one of the tallest concrete trucks in Texas. Mm-hmm. They kind of have, like, the arms that extend, and I don't really know what that's Is it that's Six for. Brothers? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and they're going to hang the big uh, flag for us and everything. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that before. Yeah. And the, the gentleman who owns that, that business is awesome. He's wonderful. He's a great guy. He is. He, we He's in our, uh, we made a video with Lamarck, and he is in there. He says one of the things, and there might be like a quick glance of, of his truck. Yeah. We filmed it right out there. So They're going to um, be right at the entrance because they, they have the big flag mm-hmm. for us. So that's always fun to see. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That is very cool. Uh, this is KHEA Radio 99.5 FM, and Ian, you need to come to Touch a Truck. Uh, Ian's watching on Facebook, and he watches from the UK, which I think is really cool. <gasps> wow. And he asked what I'm drinking. So this is coffee. It got dropped here in studio. Have you had this, like the nitro cold brew? No, I haven't. It's pretty neat. <laughs> it looks like a dark beer, though. So that's what, they, that's what he that's asked. What, yeah. from, he was like, is that? I was like, no, it's it's coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Were you wondering, too? Had you never seen No, it? I knew it was coffee. Okay. I got you. All right, yeah, it's 10.47 a.m. This is KATA Radio. we got about eight minutes left or so. We're talking to Darcy with the city of Texas City. You've been in. The, how long have you been working with the city? Because you worked with the chamber before. Yes. And how long have you been in this uh, current state, this position? I am... I'm not quite two years, so I'm a, I'm a year and some change. Yeah. But this is my second touch of truck. So I worked it last year... Um, with James, but he's no longer with us. And so now Touch Truck came on to my shoulders, and that's why it's better this year. <laughs> hair flip. I'm going to be that person, hair yeah, flip. Yeah, 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 we got 70 vehicles. I mean, last year there's only 45. You know, so. whenever you were at the chamber, I remember us talking about, well, about a lot of stuff, but specifically, like, the is it the crab boil or the crawfish boil? The or shrimp boil. Shrimp boil. Yes, yeah. And that just went on not too long ago because they still it's do that. August. Yes. It was in August. Has Touch a Truck kind of become your your shrimp boil? It has. It definitely has. Or in comparison to the chamber events, their golf tournament is by mm-hmm. far the biggest thing. So Touch a Truck is like equal to the golf tournament. Okay. Um, and as far as planning goes, and I mean, huge shout out to the city of Texas City and um, the fire department, the police department, the emergency management department. Everybody hooks us up. The sanitation department, because we're going to have dump trucks out there. The police department, the, the yes. municipal court. All of them, everybody. everybody. <laughs> everybody. Shout out to all you guys. I love everything about Texas City yeah. in general and the people. I mean, everybody that I meet is awesome. Yes. Okay. Where did James go? Man. You don't uh, have to say. No, he <laughs> he went to the city of Pflugerville. Okay. That's, so. Uh, that is by Austin? Yes. Yeah, Round Rock. Close to that area, so but he's he's been great. He's been checking back in. That's and, good. You know, he follows our stuff and has been liking our things. Yeah, so he may see this video. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when people like peace out from a position, they're like, "I'm done, I'm out." Yeah, but it's nice whenever you're like, "Hey, I got a question about oh, yes. this." Yes, that they. I answer. can always call on him to answer. Yeah, he's he's been great. Has somebody taken that him. that position yet? It's um, a lot of people have kind of covered. Yeah, so a lot of jobs have changed and and people have gotten new roles and things like that so awesome uh yes yeah (laughs) i mean that's basically what it is yeah i forgot to mention that we have a train festival y'all that's also ties into touch a truck well i noticed that on an event yes it said like a a, did it say model train show model train show. what is that i mean um so it's going to be at the showboat which is right next to where the corn box is going to be and it's uh two dollars for kids five dollars for adults 
but they have like large model trains set up in the showboat. Mm-hmm. And then when you buy those tickets, it also counts for um, the museum. So you can enter in both. Uh, the museum can do card and cash, but showboats only cash, mm-hmm. only to buy the tickets. And upstairs of the Texas City Museum is nothing but model trains. And they wow. have, I mean, it is so neat to see. They have, like, the, the snow slopes, all different kind of um, environments, and everything's going. And um, they're, they're going to have, like, a Lego layout where everything you see is made of Legos. Uh, cool. Lots of train vendors. So any train enthusiasts out there, come to the train festival. Whenever I think of, of trains and model trains, I think of Christmas. Okay. Well, it's almost Christmas-ish. It is. You know, it's around nine more Mondays, right? Nine more Mondays. Yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? Thomas the Train's going to be playing? What? I know. Good old Thomas. You know, your son hasn't gotten to that age, no. has he? Or have you no, been like, but making watch we've it? we've been watching <laughs> Paw Patrol. And then there's some other, like, I think it's Australian little puppies, like Bluey. I don't know that one. I have no idea, but the episodes are 15 minutes long, and it's adorable. Yeah. I'm sucked in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're cute. Bubble Guppies was my son, who's seven now, and my daughter's too, so she can get down on some Bubble Guppies. And my son, he'll still, he'll still watch it, but yeah. that was like the first show where he was like, yeah. I'll sit down, and I was like, oh, I, we can actually watch right, something together. Right. We can just kind of hang and out. And I learned so much. Yeah. It's funny, it is. but I learned a lot. It's neat to see. And now, I remember watching, like, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood growing up. Great show. Yes. And now they have Daniel Tiger, who will have the same theme song, and it oh, talks okay. about being, like, a good neighbor and emotions and oh, kind of the okay. same thing, but he's a he's a cartoon and his family well, kind of carrying the torch. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, he'll watch Paw Patrols for, like, five minutes, and then he's done. And that's awesome. Yeah. That is cool. <laughs> that's cool. So, let's see. Right, right now, it is... Uh, 1051. It's KHEA Radio, 99.5 FM. I see some people that are tuning in and Can we announce the winner? Questions. Yeah. So who, let's see. Like, how do we pick? Do we just scroll through? Well, we may have to do it whenever the stream's over. Okay. Just because I want to, because it limits my comments. Okay. And so I want to make sure that we, we yes. get it to, to them. But we'll announce it. Maybe we can even pick it together, like, right as soon as the stream's yeah. over. But if you are wondering what we're talking about and you're just tuning in, you have an opportunity to win a Touch a Truck t-shirt. We're giving away several. Boom. And yep. to win that, you have to share it. Comment, and that's pretty much it. I say like it, but you don't right. have to. You should like it, though. You should like it. You Even should. If, if you don't like it on yeah. Facebook, just like it in real life. Like, yeah. I like this video. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is 99.5 <laughs> FM, com. If you haven't downloaded the KHEA radio app, make sure that you go do that because you can listen from anywhere that has internet. Um, whether you are in Texas City or I see somebody said, hey, I'm watching from, from Alvin. If you are looking for something fun to do, you can go out on Saturday to touch a truck, family friendly event. There's all kinds of reasons that you should go, and I feel like the the sensory hour in the beginning is very important. Um, yes. That's something that y'all have done before. Yes, and I'm guessing we'll continue to do. Yes, absolutely. We've been getting um, a wonderful response from that, and uh, just want to make the environment as as best as it can be. Of course, for for kids like that before it gets too crazy and crowded and loud and. And we'll do our best to monitor every vehicle, make sure nobody's honking, but a few honks might slip out. So, Especially if kids are like, if my kids are climbing in trucks. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's the, the first, that's what everybody wants to do. Especially, <laughs> we'll have 18 wheelers out there too, so I'm hoping you can do the <laughs> the big one, but not from 10 to 11. Yeah. Did you have any friends growing up that had like the train horn on their pickup truck? Yes. Um, in like high that. school, and it scares me even <laughs> yeah. while I'm driving now, and they do it under the bridge. Oh, and like, ugh, it's panic. Kinda, it's kind of cruel. Yeah, it's kind of cruel. It's yeah. Oh, uh, so here's another question. We talked about this earlier, but this is a great. Hey, Darcy, who painted those the wing mural? A wonderful question. Um, he's a uh, local artist. I was about to say he's new. He's not new. Um, his name's Evan Miller, and he painted these wonderful angel wings on Sixth Street. So we're hoping um, a lot of families will interact with that this weekend. And his uh, Instagram handle is at Evans Artwork. Mm -hmm. So go check him out. Um, I did show a picture of the mural earlier on my cell phone. So uh, I'm trying to think if we've, I don't think we've posted it on Facebook just yet. Maybe we'll drop that in today on the Touch a Truck Facebook at Touch a Truck TC. Go like it. So yeah, go check it out. It's going to be right next to the tent where everybody can like eat and drink in the shade and things Mm -hmm. like that. So. Yeah, we mentioned earlier that there's going to be 70 vehicles out there, mm-hmm. and it can potentially grow from now till right. Saturday. Right, we're still accepting applications. And you all, you said you stretched it out on Sixth Street to yes. cover more ground. Yes. So for people who are like landmark people like myself, I mean, 
technically it's from 7th Avenue to 3rd Avenue, but people are like, I don't know what that is. Yeah. So it starts at Hey Mikey's Ice Cream, <laughs> best ice cream ever, and then it ends at Fetching Lab Brewery. Mm-hmm. So after you've had a kid day, you can go get a nice cool drink at Fetching Lab. And they're doing a lot of things, uh, Touch a Truck Day. I think they're going to have like a Harry Potter dog costume contest wow um and then like a dog trick contest so mm-hmm. he's got some cool things going on That's as fine. well yeah but it's gonna it's gonna be super long mm-hmm. i mean with over 70 vehicles and a lot of them are 18 wheelers or taking up a lot we of have space something called an earth hauler y'all just do yourself a favor and google what that is because it looks really impressive i had to google it um just a lot of large long big old vehicles mm-hmm. you mentioned also, that there's going to be about 30,000 people out there. Yes. So my question is, wh- like, how much longer can this event be on 6th Street before it outgrows it? So if there's 30,000 people and it's obviously getting bigger. Yes. Like, 6th Street isn't growing unless we, we right. expand it somehow. I don't yeah. know. but we can, we can stretch it all the way down to, to Cross Palmer. It goes from, know? like, the north side of the loop all the way to yeah. the refineries. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll need, like, golf carts to see everything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Why not go big or go home? Yeah, go like down to Texas or yeah. Why it not? Can, it, there's no stopping us. Yeah, you know. I say we got a good twenty years before right. we run into that. Yeah, that probably. issue. I mean, once we get a tank, who knows? If they if they put you in James's position, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna say next year, like with yeah. the amount of growth that's already happened, right? Who knows the what's possible? Are endless. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If you if you promote Darcy, the the Please possibilities do. for Texas cities are <laughs> literally endless. So, <sighs> hey, is there anything else you would like to share or maybe reiterate? Um, just we're gonna have a little bit of like everything for everybody. So we're gonna have the face painting. We're gonna have balloon artists, the reptile guys that's gonna be out there, corn box, um, lots of arts and craft vendors. Uh, I know holidays are around the corner, so there's a really nice wreath lady who makes some pretty stuff. She's going to be out. The tumbler cups, if you want your tumbler cup dipped and yeah. cool things like that um, that I have, I don't have no time to do, but I really want to. Of course. Um, lots of vehicles, over 70, a lot of emergency vehicles, uh, food trucks. Um, the weather's going to be, I mean, top of the notch. You couldn't ask for better weather. I hope I didn't just jinx myself. I don't think so. I'm going to say no. <laughs> um, it's just going to be a great day. It's right. free, too. It's free. It's free to attend. Family friendly. Free. You mentioned arts and crafts and vendors. If somebody wants to apply to be a vendor, can they do that? That was a question. Um, that's asked. a great question. Unfortunately, that deadline um, has already passed just because we have to get the street mapped out. And um, with all the big vehicles coming in, we're, we're at our capacity for that. Okay. So... And Sorry. Next here's year. another here's another question. It said, "Hey, who does all the videos on Facebook? They are amazing." <laughs> you know, I want to say the video work and the acting in the Touch a Truck <laughs> oh. promotional video <laughs> is by far some of the best <laughs> acting I've seen. I had I had to share it out every time I see it. I'm like, I got to share this. I got to share this. Like with it's my fun. hands are just ready. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Touch a Truck is coming, but you're like a we fire truck We have the bomb squad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that compliment. Um, yeah, that was a lot of fun to do. Props to you for looking like so natural in every video that you do. <laughs> and it's just at ease because I'm like Ricky Bobby. I'm like, what do I do with my hands? And that Jordan <laughs> Peele meme, I feel like I'm just sweating nonstop. So it's probably not what your listeners want to hear. Um, but yeah, that, that was a fun video. And uh, props to Derek Miller. He does all of our videos um, so go check out the Touch a Truck page. We, he did the epic corn video. Um, we have like just every video on there is his. So awesome. we're really grateful to have him. He's a new part of our team and yeah. it's essential. Very cool. Yeah. You know, I made a post on my personal Facebook and I've gotten some hate for this. Oh, no. I said I sometimes feel bad for Joe Buck, who is one of the announcers oh, yeah. for the, for the uh, uh, during the World Series and playoffs. Yes. And he has been. Because it's not easy just to talk for hours and hours. Right. And, and he doesn't have any, like, to banter with either. No, it's just, it's it's tough. And I, I feel bad. And I, I want, like, those people who are like, fire Joe Buck. Like, that's his job to talk. And right. you have to talk about something. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not easy. But I would love for those people props to sit. To you. Well, no, you know, like, props to you, too. But, like, just to sit in front of a microphone and yeah. talk. You have a game. And those games are, like, four hours long. They're forever. 
And they're yeah. like, why does he keep bringing this up and these these useless stats? And it's like, because he has to say something. Yeah, he needs filler. So, not that he needs, I'm not, I don't know. But you can tell which teams are his favorite. Yes, you can. So, I think he should, you know, work on that. Like, maybe get pumped up about what the Astros do. Yeah, man. I agree. That's it. That's my. Only but if he answer. doesn't follow the Astros and he doesn't, then he doesn't know, and he only has like the stats. Or like get somebody someone who's a stats. huge Astros fan on there with him. Mm-hmm. Be like, oh, to balance it out. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. I don't know. That's fair. You know, they didn't ask me, Cardi. <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> we'll tag him. I'm gonna tag Joe tag Buck. Him. I have to tag Joe Buck, and um, <laughs> maybe we can Darcy and Joe. Yeah. And we'll make oh, no. this happen. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hey, but go Astros. I think that they have, you know, they're going to win. They're going to win. The next four. Yeah. Get this World Series. Yes. Um, you know, banner, trophy, get the rings, World Series rings, and, and right. have some fun. That's right. Well, thank you for joining today. Thank you for having me. Touch a truck this Saturday, 10 to 4 p.m. It's free. There is a ride, like, sharing, I guess. You can also get shuttled to the event. There's going to be all kinds of stuff. Make sure that you go out. Um, on social media, how can they find Touch a Truck? At Touch a Truck TC. All right. Well, thank you, Darcy. Yeah, thank y'all. It's KTA Radio, 99.5 FM. All right, Facebook, y'all be good. Be blessed.